The other day, I uploaded this video explaining how to bevel any corner of a curve with geometry node. And someone in the comments asked me, can we bevel only one corner? Can we make a selection? Is this possible? So today, you're going to learn how to do it. Let's do the camera, the light, go to geometry node. Let's hide this panel and this one. Let's get a new profile. And first of all, remember, we need to work with curve. I'm going to use, for example, quadrilateral. And basically, it's a curve with a shape of a square. Because here we can change every axis. In this axis, and if we want, in the other. Okay, so we have this curve. And now, if you want to bevel every corner of this curve, so these corners, at the same time, what we have to do is to apply this node, fillet curve. And basically, it bevels any corner of a curve. And it's really easy. We have this mode, Bezier, where we have a radius. If we select 0, it's not bevel. If we increase this, it starts beveling with a radius of distance. And if we continue, we will see this weird thing. So if you want to avoid this, then we have this thing called limit radius. That means that after this, we can increase this and nothing happens. So it's like a protection. Now we're working in Bezier and then we have poly. Poly is the same. However, the difference is that here we have this count that adds more points so we can make more round the corners. And here we can control the size. Okay, that's how it works. And now the question that this guy was asking me, can you do this but only with one corner? Or maybe I'm adding with two corners or three? And to be honest, I didn't know the answer because I never did it. But I'm going to show you how I discovered this. Maybe the first option that you would think is, let's go to the internet and find the answer. Maybe in a tutorial, in a forum, whatever. But I always recommend you, what I do, is first to try it by yourself. And if you don't get the answer, then go to the internet. But at least you make this effort to try to discover how to get the solution. So what I did is to look at this node and think, how we can do that? We have only three inputs. Now we're thinking, okay, this is just the limit, so we cannot do anything more. And we have this to add more resolution, and then we have the radius. So I'm thinking, maybe with the radius we can do it, because with the radius we can say, don't bevel anything, or bevel everything. And I was looking here, and this is a field. This is a field, so that means that we can have different inputs with one wire. For example, I was thinking, maybe let's use index node, because usually index is taking all the numbers of a geometry and then apply different values for each index. So I thought, let's try it. And suddenly, boom! We have these three corners bevel except this one. So we have the solution right here. So now, how we can control this? So the solution is to add here equal. And now, if we connect this here, first of all, let's select integer because index is integer. Here, we can define which index we are using. So to understand what is happening, this corner is the index 0. This one, 1, this one, 2, and this one, 3. So now we are selecting the index number 0, and we are making a selection, a filter. And we are saying only apply a bevel to this corner. If you want to apply this one, then let's select 1. If you want 2, 2. If you want 3, 3. And if you have more, then change the numbers. So first of all, but now we lose the control of the radius. What if I don't want to bevel this until here and I want it something like that? Don't worry, we can do this if we add here a math node and select multiply. So if you select zero, the bevel is not applied, but if we increment this, we can control the amount of radius in this bevel until you can force it and you get this interesting shape. So if you want to learn how to do this, now you know the solution. Okay, now, but how we can select more than one? To select more than one, then what you have to do is to copy this and connect it here. And then, for example, I want this one and this one. So this one is zero, and here I'm going to select number one. And now we need to connect it, not here. We need to make a copy and select Add, because we want to join two different index. 
So now we are selecting number 0 and number 1. We are joining these corners here, and with this we can control the amount of bevel, more or less. By the way, if you want to convert this to a mesh, there is two options. You can fill this and then extrude it, or what you can do is to use, for example, I'm going to show you another way, curve line, then disconnect this and connect it here. So we have this line, and we are going to convert it in a curve to mesh. Curve to mesh. And now the profile that we're going to use is this one. So we have the shape that before we were working. And here, if you want to fill this, don't worry, just click here. So we got this shape. And the height is this value. And now we can come back here and decide which corners we want to bevel. And remember, we can increase this if you want, in any axis. And if you want here, increment how much bevel do you want. By the way, if you want to fix this problem, to fix this problem, what you have to do is like overlapping. It's not really overlapping, because if we look here, everything looks perfect. But here we can see this little problem. And maybe you're thinking, maybe if we add a material, so set material, let's check it. Mm, we can see that this still is here. To solve this problem, just add after this, merge by distance. And you will notice that, boom, disappear. And everything is perfect. So look before and after. If you don't know what this is doing, basically it's taking every point and merging in one single point. So if we add a really, really, really small distance, if there is any problem, it will be solved without changing the shape of this object. So this is the way to filter any bevel in any curve. If you enjoyed this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can donate this project and many more in my Patreon. So see you next video.